Hi, the Tag from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book to read for you. Today, book is Fumper from 2004. So let's get started. The forest was a peaceful place. Many families of animals made their homes there. When the weather was nice, the young animals rumpled about and played together. Amongst them was a young deer named Bambi. He lived with his mother. Bambi's father was the great prince of the forest. He was a big stag, and he was very brave. Bambi's best friend was a young rabbit named Fumper. One morning, Fumper's mother told her children, We're going to the mill to eat fresh clovers. For breakfast. Hurry, shouted Fumper. He jumped up onto a rock, startling some butterflies, and the beautiful creature flitter away. Fumper tapped his foot on the rock. Fump, fump, fump. The little rabbit always did that when he would decide it. That's why he would call it Fumper. Soon the rabbit reached the meadow. Many other animals family was already there. Fumper loved the sweet cro clovers blooms. The best they look like soft, fluffy rabbit tails. In fact, the the blooms was all Fumper wanted to eat. But his mother reminded him to eat the green too. They would help him grow long ears and big feet. After breakfast, Mother Rabbit told her children to stay nearby. She wanted them to be safe. But Fumper didn't hear her. He had already gone, hopping off to visit his friends. First, Fumper found friend Owl, perching in a tree. What you're doing up there? Fumper asked. Who? Friend Owl hooted. Sleepingly, remember? Fumper, I sleep during the day. Sorry, friend Owl. Fumper said, I'll come back another time. Next, Fumper went to his friend Flower. Fumper finally found a young skunk playing near a hollow log. Listen to this, Flower said to Fumper. Hello, Flower called into the log. Flower's voice echoed back. Fumper laughed and jumped up on the log. Listen to this, he called. He began thumping his feet on the log. Fump, fump, fump. The noise echoed through the forest. That's wonderful, said Flower silently. How do you do that? It's easy, replied Fumper. See you later, Flower. Fumper called as he jumped off the log. I'm going to go f find Bambi. As he came into a thicken, Fumper found Bambi wrestling with his mother. May we play together? Fumper asked politely. Yes, said Bambi mother, but don't go f too far away, she warned. We won't, Fumper and Bambi promised as they ra ran into the forest. Let's Patrick jumpin'. Fumper said to Bambi. Patrick make perfect. The young frown nodded, and the two set off as Fumper and Bambi raced into a clearing. The other animals scurried away. Bambi easily jumped over a fallen log, but Fumper did not. Whoops, called Fumper as he tripped and fell. But Fumper wasn't hurt. Rolling over, he just laughed and laughed. I think I need more Patrick, the little rabbit said. I'm glad you're not hurt, Bambi said. I never get hurt when I fall, Fumper giggled. That's why fluffy toes are great. The two had fun in the forest until a voice called. 
Bambi, it was Bambi mother. It's time to rest, she said. The young frown headed off. See ya, Bambi, Thumper said. But instead of going back to his mother, he started chasing the butterfly. Back at the meadow, Mother Rabbit noticed a storm was approaching. She called her children together. Where'd Thumper? She wondered. I told him to stay nearby. Now I can't see him anywhere. He's off exploring with his friend, one of the, f one of Fumper's sisters said. You know he'll come back, Mama, another one added. But Mama, but Mother Rabbit was worried. Wait here, she told her children. I'm going to ask Friend Owl to help find Fumper. Friend Owl called Mother Rabbit. Have you seen Fumper? He woke me up earlier, Friend Owl said. He tried chasing some butterfly, he added, as he tried to go back to sleep. But there's a thunderstorm coming, Mother Rabbit said. Would you please try to find him? Oh, all right, agreed Friend Owl, and off he went. Suddenly, a boat of lightning crackled through the sky. Friend Owl began searching the forest. Then, off in the distance, he spotted fire. It was spreading quickly. Oh no, for now, were it claimed. I must hurry and warn everyone. He raced back to Fumper Mother. I didn't find Fumper, he told her, but a fire is coming. Run to the lake where you'll be safe. But we can't leave without Fumper, Mother Rabbit cried. Don't worry. Con... For an hour, I'll try, well, I'll find him and bring him to you. And off he flew away. Hurry, children, Mother Rabbit called. She could already smell smoke from the fire. We must reach the lake. But what about Thumper, they asked. Will, will he be all right? For an hour, we'll find him, their mother hopped in, well, hopped out loud. Meanwhile, Fumper was happily playing with one of his butterfly friends. He didn't know a fire was spreading through the forest. Friend now was spotted Fumper, just at another boat of lightning struck nearby. He quickly flew down to Fumper. I'm so glad I found you, Friend Owl said. Why, ask Fumper. Hurry, you must run to the lake. For now, we'll agree, or urge, a fire is coming. Where's my family, Fumper asked. They're safe at the lake, Friend Owl told him. Come on, Fumper, follow me. But I must warn my friend first, fought Fumper. So Fumper raced back into the forest. He had to find his friends. Fumper... Right, thumping loudly on a log, Fumper yelled, Flower, flower, where are you? What is this, Fumper, flower act? Fire, fire, brain Fumper, run for your, run for the lake. You come too, said Flower. I will, Fumper said, as he ran the other way, but first I must warn Bambi and his mother. All right, but please hurry, said Flower, and he scurred off to the lake. Fumper ran as fast as he could. Finally, he found Bambi sleeping next to his mother. Wake up, Fumper shouted. What is it, Fumper? Bambi's mother asked. A fire is coming this way, Fumper cried. We must go to the lake. So Fumper, Bambi, and his mother raced through the forest. Hurry, boys, Bambi's mother said, as the smoke came closer. Suddenly, Lightland hit a tree. As the tree fell to the ground, it knocked Fumper into a hole. Unfortunately, Bambi and his mother didn't see what had happened. As Bambi and his mother arrived at the lake, it began to rain. Finally, the rain started to put out the fire. Fumper saved our life, Bambi said to Fumper's mother. But where is he? Mother Rabbit cried. Oh no, Bambi and his mother exclaimed when they realized Fumper wasn't with them. 
Try not to worry. I'll find him, said friend Owl. He headed back toward the forest. When friend Owl finally came back, he said, I'm so sorry, I couldn't find Fumper anywhere. Oh no, everyone cried. All of the animal was sad. They thought they would never see Fumper again. He was very brave to warn us, Bambi mother quietly added. But, Bam but Fumper was going to be all right. He was safe in the hole. The fire hadn't touched him. He had bumped his head when he fell into the hole, and he was sound asleep, so Fumper hadn't heard for an owl calling him. All of a sudden, rain splashed on Fumper's head and woke him up. Fumper peeked out of the hole. The fire was out. I have to let everyone know I'm all right, Fumper jumped up onto a log and thumped his foot. Fump, fump, fump. The sound echoed through the forest. Back at the lake, all the animals were quiet. When suddenly, friend Owl shouted, Wait, listen, I hear something. Thump, thump, thump. The, or the, that sound like Fumper, Mother Rabbit cried. A minute later, Fumper came racing around the lake. Everyone was happy to see him. Hooray for Fumper, everyone shouted. Fumper's mother was very proud of her son and lovingly patted him on the head. I'm so thankful that you're all right, Fumper. Fumper explained how he had fallen into a hole. I didn't land on my toe this time, Fumper told Bambi. I think I need more Patrick fawn too. The young deer looked up at the bright sky. That's okay, Fumper. I think you're perfect the way you are. So that was Fumper from 2004. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day with another video coming out real soon.